Hello, today I have a guided reading lesson for you, okay? So first we're gonna go over a few sight words. The first word is have, H-A-V-E. You have a headache, ow, have a headache. The next word is it, I-T, tag, you're it. Pretend like you're tagging someone, it. The next word is not, N-O-T, not. Put your hand up like a stop sign. Do not enter. Not. All right. I have a story for you. It is called, Who Stole the North Pole? Okay, so where is the North Pole? Okay, I have a globe here. Okay, so we live, let me see if I can find where we live. We live right here in North America, the United States. Okay, the North Pole is clear at the tippy top of our globe of Earth, okay? All right, so now that we know about that, do you know what kind of animals live at the North Pole? And what type of people, okay? The title is, Who Stole the North Pole? We are going to do a picture walk first before we start reading. We always do this so we have a little preview of what the story will be about. Okay, so what do you see in the picture here? I see an owl? What's that? What's that? Polar bear? <gasps> Who is this guy? <laughs> it's Santa! And what do you see in the background? His reindeer and his sleigh. What's that animal? Do you know? It's a walrus. And here we have a seal. You guys know what that is. A reindeer. Whoa, look at that big whale that jumped out of the water hole there. And then I see all the characters there together. All right, when we are reading our story, I want you to remember a good reading strategy, eagle eye. Okay, you use the pictures for clues. So make sure you're using your eagle eyes when I'm reading the story to you, okay? So again, the title is Who Stole the North Pole? It's written by Anthony Curran. He is the author. He wrote the words. And it's illustrated by Colleen Madden. She is the one who drew the pictures. So we're going to read and find out who stole the North Pole. The North Pole is missing. Who could have taken it? Polar Bear did not take it. Santa did not take it. Walrus did not take it. Seal did not take it. Reindeer did not take it. Whale took it. He thought it was a candy cane. So there they're putting the North Pole stick back up. Silly whale. He thought it was a candy cane and he wanted to eat it. Okay, so we have some questions now. I have some cards here. I'm going to mix them up. I'm going to hold it up to the screen and read it to you. Then I want you to pause the video and answer it for yourself, okay? So you can tell an adult at home what the answer would be or what you think it is, okay? First question. Do you think that there really is a pole in the ice at the North Pole? Why or why not? So here we're analyzing the story. Ans pause the video and answer that question, okay? Next question, we're comparing and contrasting the story, the characters, okay? So in what ways are the characters the same and how are they different? Remember all the characters in the story. How are they the same, their similarities, and their differences? Next question, we're making an inference or drawing a conclusion in the story. So how did Owl know that the North Pole was missing? That was at the very beginning of our story. Owl noticed that the pole was missing. How did he know? And last question I have for you to answer about the story. You're evaluating it. So do you think it was okay for Whale to take the North Pole? Or should he be in trouble? So do you think that was okay? Why or why not? Okay. Next, we are going to work. I'm going to teach you a new sight word, okay? 
The word is could. Let's see if I'm able to read this. Could. C O U L D. How many letters in the word could? One, two, three, four, five. Five letters. This is a big word. C O U L D. Okay, so here's the game. I'm going to erase a letter and I'm going to show you the board after. You have to tell me what letter is missing. Okay, so look at this. Remember, C O U L D. All right, let's see if you can figure it out. The word is could. K -k. What do you hear at the beginning of the word? K -k. Good. So, what letter is missing? Our first letter is missing. What was it? Was it a C? Could. All right, let's try a harder one. Let's see if I can trick you with this one. C O U blank D. C O D. Could. What letter's missing there? It's an L. Okay, so spell the word with me again C O U L D. Let's do another letter. C O U L. What letter's missing here? D. C O U L D. All right, last one. See if I can trick you. I'm going to erase two letters this time. Are you ready? So I'm missing a letter here and here. C. Blank, blank, L, D. What two letters are missing? O, U. All right, good job. Spell that word with me one more time. The word is could. C, O, U, L, D, could. Great job. Next, I have another fun game for you, okay? So we are going, I'm going to draw an, a chart here for you, a T chart. We have A on this side, and we have I. What sound does the letter A make? Ah, ah, ah. Good. And what sound does the letter I make? I. Okay. So I'm going to say a word, and you're going to tell me if I, or I'm going to have to decide if I'm going to write it under A if it has the ah sound, or under I if it has the I sound, okay? So get out your tappers, okay? Each of these words are gonna have three different sounds. So whenever, I'm gonna say a word, cat, okay? Three sounds, the first sound, k, a, t. And then we take all three letter, or all three fingers, cat, okay? Do that with me, k, a, t, cat. What sound did you hear in the, in the middle? I need to write it under the A because I heard the A ah sound. So, K, C, A, ah, T, T. What letter does it end with? T. C, A, T. All right, next word. Win. Get your topper out and ready. Win. Like you win a basketball game. Ready? W, I, N. Win. Do it one more time. We're listening for the I or A ah sound. Ready? W, I, N, win. I am going to write that under the I because I heard I in the middle of the word. What does this start with? W, W. It's a W. And we have I, I. Last sound. W, I, N. What letter makes that N sound? N. So, so far I have one word on each side of my chart. All right, the next word we are going to try is did. Did. Get your tapper out and ready. D, I, D. Did. Do you hear the A ah sound or I? D, I, D. It's the I sound. D. What letter makes the D sound? D, I, D. All right, next word. Pan. Pan. P -a -n. P-A-N. Pan. Hear the ah sound. Ah. P -a -n. 
Okay, next we have had. A, d, had. Do you hear a or i? Where do I write it? A, d, had. I'm going to write it under a, h, a, d, had. All right, next word is bin. Bin, like a toy bin. A box you hold your toys in. Tap it with me, ready? B, i, n, bin. You hear a or i? It's going to go under i, b, i, i, n. First letter, b, b, i, i, n, b, n. Good job. All right, one last thing we're going to do with that story I read you. Remember what that story was called? Who Stole the North Pole? We're going to do a little writing activity. So if you have a piece of paper in front of you, you can write this sentence with me. Remember, our sentence tells us who does what or who did what in the story. Okay, so let's talk about, let's answer the question of the title. Who stole the North Pole, right? So who was it? We start our sentence with who. The who should be whale. I'm going to start my sentence with a capital letter. So I have a capital W. W. Whale. Whale. What did whale do? Whale. He took the North Pole, right? Whale took. Uh the whale took the North Pole and I'm going to capitalize North Pole because that is a place a specific spot we could also add why why did he take the North Pole because he thought it was a candy cane but I don't have room on this so we're just going to end our sentence how do I end my sentence? Am I finished? I started with a capital letter. I have who, did what, and I have to end with punctuation. I'm going to end my sentence with a period, just like that. All right, great job. Thanks for watching.